and his mm -hmm. father killed uh, these tens people. of thousands of people with gas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So given the ruthlessness of this regime, why should we believe Syria's foreign minister when they say they're willing to surrender control of chemical weapons? Well, it's back to the point you raised. I mean, they, it would be with inspectors and, and the UN would send in people that proved to be very difficult in Iraq, as you obviously mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at some point, it's trust but verify, as Reagan used to say. It was very fascinating to me, Charlie, and frightening to watch the, the two of you together. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with you at every step. And all day long yesterday, people kept stopping me on the street, asking me, how did Charlie Rose get that interview? And other than, yeah. I am Charlie Rose, yeah. I wasn't quite sure what the answer was. Yeah. Because here your country is under yeah. potential attack. He says, let me talk to Charlie Rose. How did it happen? How did it come together? Very quickly, I hear. Uh, indeed. I mean, we didn't finally get it done until a little days before. It took place because uh, I had asked for an interview. We had talked with Jeff Fager, the chairman of CBS and executive producer, uh, about the possibility of doing this. Mm -hmm. And then it seemed to be going nowhere because of different hang-ups. And then uh, because of the PBS program, we said, look, why don't we do it this way? We'll give you an unedited interview, which is the same thing I did with the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. And that appealed to them. And, and I must say that, that Jeff and I found them once we got there willing to. You know, they didn't make any effort to change content. They didn't have any interest. There was nothing off the record. They, they didn't have any sense of saying, you can't go here. You no don't guidelines. want to talk about here. Mm -hmm. None. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, they said, the president, I said, this is going to be a very tough interview. And they said the president would like for you to be that way. That way. I, they said that he, he was so calm and composed on camera. Mm -hmm. Everyone kept saying, you know, he seems, dare I say, normal. He seems very in control, very calm. What was he like off camera? Same way. The Even, same way. Yes, absolutely. How did you get into Damascus? It's not easy to get there. <laughs> no, you, first of all, you can't fly in. We thought we'd fly in. Can't do that. I, every time I've been before, I've flown into Damascus. We flew to Beirut. Um, and it, the CBS News organization was enormously helpful with this because they've got people on the ground in Damascus, in Beirut, and they make these trips back and forth. So we, we flew into Beirut, Jeff Fager, Paul Needham, and me. Then we drove to the checkpoint, one checkpoint after another. We got to the border, and then from the border we met on the other side. We got our visas, and then we drove to Damascus. And one hour later, we were talking to officials of the Syrian government. Were you wearing bulletproof vests? We had them, but we did not wear you them. You didn't wear yeah. them? But I never felt. Afraid? No. No? No. Mm -hmm. You had satellite phones confiscated. They were confiscated because uh, it, it was really, I mean, it took forever for them to examine the satellite phones. And finally, we just had to leave them and then pick them up uh, when we come back, when we came back um, on the way back to Beirut. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't have armed guard, all those mm -hmm. kinds of things. I, I do think it's also important to point out not only the difficulty in getting into Damascus, but there are no American journalists in Syria except for Elizabeth right. Palmer. And her yeah. visa in is terms not, of reporting right. what's really going on That's there right. is very difficult. That's right. And, and when we were making that case as hard as we could, you know, that they needed to do more of that, and especially uh, for, for CBS colleagues who were there now. Well, I have to say, it was one of those days yesterday where you go, I work with Charlie Rose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Congratulations. It yes. was an amazing, amazing piece of work.